Hey everybody, my name is Logan Alec. I'm a CPA, this is Money Done Right, and today I'm giving you a review and walkthrough of, ta-da, a cashback rewards app that claims to give you cash back when you shop for groceries in store or when you shop online. You can redeem your rewards for gift cards to popular stores like Amazon and Target that just about everyone shops at, so it seems like it could be worth trying out. But is it really worth it? In this review, I'll go over how to navigate the Tada app as well as how to use the app to redeem for gift cards. And like always, at the end of the video, I'll list my pros and cons for Tada, as well as examples of uh, people and situations for whom this app might be good for, as well as examples of people and situations this app might not be so great for. To help me review Tada, I'd have my writers, Viana, actually test out the app and shop at Target in person so you get to see how to use Tada in real life. Later on, I'll reveal how much Viana made from using Tada and to tell you now, the answer isn't what you would normally expect from a cashback app. More on that later. If this video helps you decide that Tada is for you, I'd really appreciate it if you use my link in the description below to sign up. Signing up through the link supports my channel. It's no extra cost to you. No cost at all anyway, because Tada is free. Uh, and this allows me to create more content here on the channel, just like this video. All right, let's get started. Before we download the app, I want to quickly explain Tada's cashback concept. It's pretty simple. First, yeah, add items that Tada has listed on their app into your list. Then you go shopping for those items and keep your receipt. Afterwards, you upload that receipt into Tada and you should get your cash back. This receipt to cash back concept isn't really new and most cash back apps have an identical rewards process. I reviewed similar apps like Tada in the past, such as Abata and Receipt Hog. Feel free to check out those videos after this video. Link to those videos is in the description below. However, I do think that some features on Tada do make it easier to earn rewards. I'll go over those features later, but as of right now, I'll address a question that everyone wants answered. Is Tada legit? Right off the bat, I can confirm that Tada is a legitimate company. Tada's rewards program is developed by a marketing group called Protege. And uh, if you're no stranger to other cashback apps, then you've definitely heard of other apps under Protege's umbrella, such as Swagbucks, MyPoints, and Inbox Dollar. So in terms of Tada being a legitimate company, I can confirm that it is legitimate and not a scam. But whether or not Tada is legitimate in giving as much cashback as promised, however, is a different question. Later on in this video, if you Anna will show you how to use Tada in real life, as well as share with you how much cash back she earned while using Tada on a regular shopping trip. I'll give you a hint. The amount she earned, or what she could have earned, seems substantial, but I'm not really sure if it could last long term. I'll explain more about what that means later. So Tada is available on iPhone and Android. You can use my link in the description below to download it. When it pops up, it should look like this. And once it's downloaded, you can sign up for an account by entering your email address and creating a password. Afterwards, Tada will offer you a chance to earn $1 just by completing an interactive demo of how the app works. Just tap show me how and Tada should take you to that demo. The first step is to add offers featured in Tada into your list. To continue on with this demo, just tap the green plus sign on the bottom right corner. For some reason, all the sample photos were of bananas, which is a little confusing because I thought it was glitching at first but that's just how the demo works. The rest of the demo explains how to use the app, and just by reviewing this demo, you can earn your first free dollar in Tada. Once you upload your first receipt, Tada will reward you with $4. After you click continue, Tada will ask if they can send you notifications. Once you choose your preference, you should be set to use the app. Before I go through how to use the Tada app, I'll give you a brief overview of what to expect when you download it. The home tab is where you can find Tada's featured stores, recommended deals, online cashback opportunities, and shop by category feature. You can also scroll at the top of the screen to search for products that you could add onto your list. Just type in a product or store, and if Tada has offers for it, it'll show up. For example, if you search coffee, you can see that Tada has an in-store deal for two cents cash back on coffee from any brand, as well as two cents cash back for any pumpkin spice ground coffee from any brand. Yes, you heard me correctly. <laughs> That's two cents and not 2%. I'll share more about this cash back rate later. But anyways, you can also select the online tab to see if any cash back offers are offered through online shopping. Most likely, grocery store items like coffee and paper towels will have cashback offers in store, which means you keep the receipt and submit it into Tada. And shopping items like shoes will have cashback offers online, which means you'll shop through the Tada app to activate the cashback. 
If you scroll down to browse by category, you'll have a much more organized method of viewing offers. To add offers into your list, just tap the green plus button on the offers and it will be automatically added onto your list. You can also click on any of these offers to view where you can buy the offer. As you can see, Tada accepts a wide range of retailers, including household name stores like Target, Walmart and Albertsons, and even some retailers on the smaller side as well, like Quick Trip and Fairway. To view your list, just tap the My List tab on the bottom right of your screen, and the offers you added should appear on there. Under the purple infinity symbol, you'll see all the offers you've added in general, but what's pretty cool is that you can filter by store. So before shopping, you can select the store you're planning on going to, and you can view all the available offers you've selected within that store. What's kind of annoying though, is that you don't have the option to search a store to filter on this page. So you're just gonna have to keep scrolling to find the store you wanna shop at. However, filtering by store isn't a necessary step to earn cash back. It's just meant to be a useful feature. Tada also has a tab called Boost, and it's a feature that lets you see which nearby stores have offers with Tada. To activate, just tap the Boost tab and it should lead you to enable location access with Tada. Once you enable that, you can view all the nearby stores that have offers with Tada. Tada lists the highest cashback opportunity at the top, and as you can see here, some of the top cashback items offer five cents in cash back, as opposed to the rest of the items, which would only get you two cents in cash back. I think this feature is useful if you want to optimize your location, and if you already know that you're going to shop at a specific store. However, I do think that the top cash back offers aren't that much. Five to 10 cents in cash back for buying a new item that you potentially might not even like, doesn't really seem worth it to me, so the standout feature within this tab is really the location aspect. All right, so now that we've gone over Tada's basic features and interface, let's see how Viana used Tada in real life and how much she earned in cash back. Hey guys, my name is Viana. I'm one of Logan's writers, and today I'm testing the Tada app. So I'm in the Target parking lot right now, and I'm about to go in in a second. But before this, I made a list of things that I needed to get, and I added them onto my Tada list. So now all I have to do is buy those items, keep that receipt, and then upload that receipt into the Tada app. And after that, we should all be good to go. So yeah, let's go check it out. I added eggs, bananas, and toilet paper onto my Tada list, and as you can see here, I bought all three of these items at Target. Tada didn't specify which brands to buy these items from, which I found to be useful because it didn't limit me to buying a specific brand. The eggs should get me $1 in cash back, and the bananas and toilet paper $0.04 cents total in cash back, $0.02 cents each. After I checked out, I opened my Tada app, tapped the scan tab, and from there, I had the chance to select the items that I bought. I tapped scan receipt and gave Tada access to my camera. When you take a photo, make sure that the receipt is easy to read and no more than two weeks old. I was able to easily take a photo of my receipt, but Tada only recognized the toilet paper and bananas. Tada was unable to recognize the eggs, which is kind of a bummer since that would have been $1 in cash back, significantly higher than two cents but I did request a review and a note from Tada says that they will review it within 10 days. Other than that, it was an overall easy experience. Back to you, Logan. So as we now just saw, Viana bought three items listed in Tada, but since Tada didn't recognize one of the items, Viana only got cash back for two of the items. Her total rewards were four cents, and if her request to review the third item gets approved, then her cash back total will be one dollar and two cents. To redeem rewards, just go to the Home tab, then tap the user icon on the top left of the screen. Here, you should see an overview of account-related information. If you tap rewards, Tada will lead you to a page with a selection of e-gift cards. This is because Tada only lets users cash out in the form of e-gift cards. The minimum cash out is $10, which is pretty good for a minimum cash out amount. Similar cashback apps such as Abata, for example, requires $20 as a minimum. But do remember that you're not getting a great cashback rate. As we just saw, most of the offers listed in Tada only gave two to five cents in cash back. So even though a $10 minimum cash out amount seems attainable, I think it would be difficult to acquire during a short period of time. For example, even if you earn 25 cents per trip, it would take you 40 shopping trips just to get up to $10. Also, 25 cents, if buying only products that are worth two cents each, comes out to around 12 products per trip. So if you're gonna use this app to save money, 
then I highly recommend that you first make sure that those are 12 products that you actually need. Additionally, say you go grocery shopping once a week and assuming you need 40 shopping trips to make the minimum $10, that would eventually come out to nine months in order to just cash out. So overall, it would either be a lot of purchases or a long stretch of time. That said, Tada does have a wide variety of gift cards to choose from, so there is a silver lining to the gift card only cash out item. You can redeem for cash back for gift cards at places like Amazon, Target, and even for travel gift cards like American Airlines and Hotels.com. These gift cards are similar to the ones you would normally see at a supermarket checkout stand and, by the looks of it, similar as well to gift cards available through other cashback sites and apps like Rakuten or Bottom. To redeem a gift card, just choose the amount you want or most likely the amount you're eligible for and the gift card should be emailed to you within 10 business days according to this post by Tada. Fiona didn't earn enough to cash out so she was unable to cash out during this time. You can also view rewards history under recent activities. To recap, this is how much Fiona earned from using Tada within two days. She earned $1 from interacting with the demo, $4 from submitting her first receipt, and four cents in total from buying two offered products. This puts her lifetime earnings at $5.04 with $1 pending. Five bucks seems Pretty good considering she's only been on Tada for less than two days, but if you subtract the welcome bonuses, her lifetime earnings would only be four cents. Uh, $1.04 if her request to recognize one of the offers gets approved. Tada also has a help center, which is basically a feature where you can view frequently asked questions as well as view tips on how to optimize your earnings. Tada claims that new users can earn up to $20 in welcome bonuses through shopping in person and online. To break it down, you can earn $1 for completing the Tada demo slash tutorial, $4 for scanning your first receipt, $3 for scanning your second receipt, and then $2 for scanning your third receipt. Note that for the $3 and $2 reward, you need to upload your receipts within the first 30 days of signing up, as well as claim an offer that's worth more than 20 cents in cash back. So those any brand items that Fiona claimed for two cents each during her shopping trip wouldn't qualify for the two and $3 reward if Fiona claimed those items for those rewards. You can also get a bonus $10 if you shop through the Tada app or through www.tada.com and spend more than $25 at any featured store. Tada has a wide range of stores to choose from, so if you're planning to spend at least $20 shopping online anyway, getting $10 free dollars for doing so seems worth it to me. If you earn $10 from this and submit three eligible receipts, then that would put your cash back rewards at $20. In theory, this all seems really easy to do, but how realistic is it to use Tada every day and would using Tada even be worth it? Tada does seem promising, but there are some important gaps that some folks overlook. So let's move on to the pros and cons of Tada to sum it all up. Let's start with the pros. My first pro for Tada is that it's easy to use. The instructions are straightforward. Uh, I, Viana got the gist immediately and the app's user interface is clear and efficient. Any questions a new user might have is addressed within the help center and overall it was a hassle-free experience. The sign-up process didn't take long and even when the receipt scanner did not acknowledge one of Viana's offers, the process to request review was fast and easy. Pro number two, you can earn cash back from mostly any brand. Tada has cash back opportunities for any brand items, which, which won't earn you much, but will still get you the cash back promised fair and square. That said, it would be two cents, so it's your call if that's worth it to you. That's all I really have for Tada's Pro, so now let's move on to the cons of Tada. My first con is a no-brainer. Tada's cash back offers aren't that much. Most offers will earn you two cents in cash back, and if you're lucky, you might find a product that'll earn you five cents in cash back. This raises some questions for me, the first being this. Remember the criteria to earn your two and three dollar welcome bonuses? As a reminder, Tada will reward you with two and three dollars when you submit your second and third receipt, respectively, in the Tada app within the first 30 days of sign up. Well, one of the criteria to earn those welcome bonuses is to claim an offer that's worth more than 20 cents in cash back. And frankly, I don't see many of those offers around in Tada, and neither did Viana. My second con is that the receipt scanner might not recognize an item that you plan to claim. As you saw earlier, this happened with Viana, and it was pretty unfortunate that she wasn't able to claim the $1 cash back immediately. 
Compared to two cents, one dollar is a pretty high amount, and she definitely could have used it to get closer to the $10 cash out minimum. My third con isn't a, a deal breaker, but it might be for you, uh, depending on what kind of shopper you are. To dot only cashes out in gift cards, which might not be useful for someone who wants to use a cashback app to earn real cash. Like I said, this isn't a deal breaker, but at the core, you're basically shopping to earn points so you can shop more. My fourth con for Tada is the search engine features and filters or the lack thereof. There's really no way to sort your offers from say highest cashback to lowest cashback or expiring soon or expiring later. So you might have to do a little bit of digging to add offers into your list. And as I previously mentioned, there's no search feature on the scan page. So you can't immediately find the store of where your receipt might be from. There's also no search feature on the list page, so you'll have to scroll to find the store that you want to claim offers from. My fifth and last con for Tada is that it has a terrible privacy policy. Tada doesn't anonymize its users' information, meaning the information that you share in Tada can get traced back to you as an individual consumer. This isn't necessarily malicious. I don't think Tada or its parent company, Protege, will steal your information or anything, but it does potentially expose you to unwanted or excessive advertising. But if you're a California resident, you can opt out of this. Also, I wasn't really a big fan of Tada's boost feature. I don't know if an app needs to know your precise location in order to offer you discounts. Like even coin out, which we, re we reviewed here on the channel uh, as one of the worst cashback apps out there has a better privacy policy than Tada. That said, this is the reason why they can afford to give out cash back. So something has to be said for that. And because there's always people who might have more pros than cons for this app, here are types of people and situations that I would or would not recommend to DAW to. Let's start with the kinds of folks I would recommend to DAW to. I'd recommend to DAW to people who are already using other cashback rewards apps and want another app to supplement rewards. You would still have to go through the process of selecting your items, scanning your receipt, and claiming your offers. But other than that, I think it would be a somewhat low maintenance way to earn additional cash back. Note that I am recommending this for folks who already use other cash back rewards apps and not folks who are looking to earn cash back in general. With that said, I would not recommend this app to people who want to only use one cash back rewards app. I don't think Tada would be the best app if you're only going to use one because its cash back rates are so low and you can only redeem your rewards for gift cards. If you're looking for a main cash back rewards app that's relatively supplemental on its own, check out Abata. We recently reviewed Abata on the channel. Link to that review is here at the top of the screen. Abata offers generally higher cash back rates and has the same ease of use that Tada has. Overall, I think that even though Tada isn't the most efficient or highest earning cash back rewards app, it gets the job done. I don't think this app would be good to use for the long term, but seeing that there are some welcome bonuses here and a $10 cash out minimum, it might be worth it to use for the short term. All right, folks, that's it for this review. If you're one of the people who think Tada could really boost your cash back earnings, I would really appreciate it if you used my link in the description below to sign up. Doing so helps my channel a ton. It gives me the opportunity to keep making thorough reviews like this one. If you're interested in other cashback apps, check out my uh, app reviews I mentioned throughout this video in the description below. Uh, right over here, you can check out my Shopkick review on my other channel. This is another cashback app that I really like. And down here is my review of the cashback app Bada, which is very similar to Tada, but better in my opinion. All right, folks, that's it for now.